joining us this morning in our Sunday School. Today we have been invited to attend a feast. Let me take that back. We have been invited to attend two feasts and we have to make a decision as to which feast we want to attend. But before we go into our lesson, we would like to have a short devotion Cassidy will lead us in prayer, after which Chloe will lead us in the key verse for our lesson today. Our Father, which art in heaven, I'll be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into the temptation but deliver us from evil. From God is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Hello, my name is Claire and I will be reading from Proverbs 9, chapter and 10, verse. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy Bible understanding. Let us read our lesson for today together. In today's scripture text, King Solomon talks about wisdom like it is a woman who is hosting a great banquet. If she were a woman, wisdom has prepared food and wine and set the table. The servants have been sent out, and she calls out from the highest point in the city. Wisdom calls to those who are foolish. 
come to my house, eat my food, and drink what has been prepared for you. Stop doing foolish things, and you will live. Learn to use good judgment. Don't correct those who are proud and arrogant. They will only hate you. Teach the wise and they will become wiser. You become wise as you respect and honor God. You gain wisdom as you come to know God. Solomon also talks about folly or foolishness, like it is a woman who does not know anything. Folly is like a loud woman who does not have wisdom or knowledge. She sits at the door of her house and calls to the people passing by. She does not make good choices. She only gives what has been taken. Folly does not help people live a new life. A lesson today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter nine. It is one of the wisdom books, and the wisdom books teach us how to live. In other words, it is God's invitation in how to live for him. The book of Proverbs is also a book of possibilities, a book of probabilities. And that's a big word for my young people. And to get a better understanding of probabilities, it means that something will likely happen. And we need to be prepared for whatever it is that's going to happen. Our lesson was written by a wise king, and his name was King Solomon. King Solomon was the son of David, and he used the lesson to wisdom as a female. And today we're talking about wisdom and folly. Miss Wisdom planted a garden. She had cattle. She had wine that she grapes that she made into wine. And Miss Wisdom decided that she would throw a feast and invite all of the people in the city that did not know God, did not have knowledge and know how to live. She would invite them to the feast and tell them how important it is for them to gain wisdom and understanding as well as knowledge. All right, there's Miss Folly. And Miss Folly didn't grow anything. She didn't have anything except something that she got from someone else. And she prepared a feast and she sat in her doorway whereas Miss Wisdom sent her servants out into the city to invite people to the feast. Miss Folly just sat in the door and says, anyone that walked by, she invited them in to her feast. Miss Folly, the word folly means foolish. Miss Folly was a foolish person because she did not have an understanding of God. She did not have wisdom. And when you do not have wisdom and understanding, then you are in a little trouble. Why do we have to have wisdom? We cannot serve God without wisdom. And with wisdom, we can have a beautiful life. That's the choice we have to make this morning. Do we want to attend 
Miss Wisdom's feast? Or do we want to attend Miss Folly's feast? Because we know that Satan will be at Miss Folly's feast. So we need to make a decision. Why do we want to have wisdom? Well, we cannot serve God without wisdom. If we have wisdom, we can have a beautiful life. That's the choice we must make. If we have wisdom, we have the fear of the Lord within us. And that's not a fear like being afraid of someone, being afraid of the thunder, or being afraid when we break one of our toys or lose our school book and our parents have to replace them. It means being in God and knowing that he will take care of us if we live by his rules. We are talking about the fear that gives you peace when you have done the right thing. Do you have any questions? Do you understand our lesson for today? We must learn to fear God so that we can have a good life. Okay, let us create a picture of our lesson for today. Create a Proverbs picture by replacing some of the words from today's lesson with pictures that mean the same thing. Number one, wisdom has built her, and I will just have to give you the answer to that because we didn't discuss it, house. Food and wine have been prepared, and wisdom has set the... Do we have an answer for that one? Has set the table. The servants have been sent out, and she calls out from the hilltop. Folly sits at the... Who knows where Folly sits? At the door of her house and called to the people passing by. Did you get those answers correctly? All right. If there are no questions, I close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come this morning thanking you for allowing us to be able to wake up and attend our virtual Sunday school. Lord, we pray for those individuals that's suffering with the pandemic. We pray for those family members that have lost individuals. And Lord, we pray for our young children as they go about their daily tasks, we pray for school. And we pray for a future that will be changed. These and other blessings. In our son Christ Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for being with us in our Sunday school lesson this morning. And we hope that you have learned something from Miss Folly and Miss Wisdom. God bless you.